welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Team Skywater Season Challenge, where we have clogged our way back to 500 yet again. Clogging whoop, away. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, We're boy. totally, we are getting it back We're one game back. at a time. I just want to be above 500. It. I know that. that like, I just want to be above the fold. Like, I know. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you know, that's all we need. I think it's just going to make for a really exciting round of playoffs. Mm. You know, like because we're going to have to really go from the bottom. We're going to be facing a high seed team. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's it's like the real Cinderella story. It it truly is. It truly is. Let's get the game underway for today. We're against the Guardians. The Guardians. The Guardians playing at Pixar Field. It looks like. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I love it. I love it. It's just the Jesse doll laying the in a box. Box. You know that some Just people didn't abandoned. get the egg jokes that we're making? Oh, because <laughs> the, <laughs> the crowd looks like eggs, guys. Yeah. That's the joke. Does it really? I was certainly one of those people who did not get the egg joke. Do you think oh. we were just saying the crowd was going Yeah, all eggs? the people are just like little ovals. They look like oh. eggs. Yeah. I guess I have to wait until we get close enough to actually see it. Okay. Uh, balls, coming like balls coming around the horn, y'all. Balls coming around the horn. Jay's coming in hot! Oh my gosh! Look at that! I'm doing donuts for my victory dance. It took us more than 15 seconds to score, guys. DK, Look at that. DK was also also there. Yeah. <laughs> Way to be, yeah. Derek. Way to be, honorable just, mention. Just in for case that one. Jonathan missed. Just right. in case. I was on it. I was half a second from glory. Ben? All right, let us. It's all you, Ben. It's all oh, you, Ben. Oh, the ace! As soon as I saw you were in that position, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna let him do it. <laughs> just let Ben do it. I don't know yeah. what he's doing, but he's got this down. But he's got it. I think it's because he has the rainbow trail and that neither was, of us that have access to it. Look at that. Kerwin and trying to get into position. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Classic. All right, let's do some questions. Let's. Uh, this set, uh, is from Angels Animals, and she says, Hey, brothers DK and Jordan. Lately, I've been feeling, I guess you could say, in between friend groups. Oh, I man. feel like I'm drifting away Woo. a lot from my old friends, and there are things that I haven't told them that I should have a while back. And there are also people I'm becoming really good friends with, and I have told them some of the stuff that I haven't told my old friends. My question is, should I try to rekindle my old friendships, or try to get closer to my new friends and risk losing my old ones? Oh boy. So, I had a situation such as this in uh, the old middle school where I felt like my longtime best buddies were sort of like moving on to different people, and it was very difficult because... I was like, I, why don't, why, I, why aren't we hanging out as much? Um, but at the same time, I was going through the same thing. We're like, oh, oh, I'm actually also, I'm part of the, I'm part of the reason. I'm hanging out with other, other people too. Who, good save, yeah. whoever that yeah. was. Well, that was, that was Got that fan, there. fantastic. Um, and the answer is that the other people, the, the people who are your old friend group, I would say, are not really going to stop being your friends, and it's right. okay for you guys to expand. And I would say, I would encourage you to spend time with the new people as well, because like. Even if you don't hang out as much, I doubt you're going to just stop being friends, period. Like, you don't like each other anymore. We don't talk. You know, you might... You know, and it, you just might be at a part in your life where... Like, when you're a kid, the people who are your best friends are the people who are right next to you right now. You know? That, <laughs> yeah. what, right. Hey, you want, you're in the sandbox, too. We're best friends. Oh, I can't even tell you how many of my best <clears> friends' <throat> last names started with either the letters B, C, or D, because it meant we were in the same home oh, room right. together. Right. That's funny. That's exactly how it goes. Um, but, no, you're absolutely right, Jay. I think it's, uh, it's really interesting, like... People don't stop being your nope. friend short of like, oh, oh my gosh, our defense is nuts today. Um, people just like don't stop being your friend like because you're not necessarily there. It's like, it's like as long as you've got like those good memories and there's nothing really that like drove you apart, I feel right. like the friendship exists. Um, like, so one of my best friends now, ironically, uh, was one of the people that I would have said was like, he was at a lunch table with me from like sixth grade all the way until, you know, my senior year of high school. Uh, and it wasn't really until we went to college together that we became, like, best friends. Um, you know, he had, like, always been there, and then, like, we right. actually became close, like, way after the fact. So, I think, <clears throat> I think it's Whoop. really interesting. Oh, no, no. Uh-oh. I don't like that. I don't like that. There we go. How it can happen. But I would say if you're having fun with your new friends, then that is something, like, it's never, you should never be, like, second-guess, second-guessing something that's making you happy. Sure. Um, Unless it's like heroin. Well, uh, right. If it's heroin, <laughs> if it's heroin, that's a problem. <laughs> uh, unless it's heroin. Realistically, all things, all pieces of advice that we ever give, 
Unless it's heroin. <laughs> uh, as a, a little uh, <laughs> aside follows. Yeah, how, right. does, that work, does that work for all advice, unless it's heroin? Unless it's heroin. All right, we'll, we'll keep that in mind. <laughs> we'll, keep, we'll keep trying that. Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> see, how, see how often, <clears throat> unless it's heroin, lies is oh, good no. advice. <clears throat> it's a shame. I don't think we can make that the episode title. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, right, whoops. I, 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 I just made a boo-boo. I made a boo-boo. Oh, I almost had the defense. I Let me tell you, weird. that was uh, an impressive goal by me. <laughs> yeah, technically, Jay was left. Nope, this, this is it right oh, here. Yeah. This is yeah, it right here. Was was, Jonathan no. was trying to fix it. I, I didn't, but I tried. I tried. I came it was the old high. Derek serves me up the old I, high I and slow. I gave the old high and slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this is bad. No one's on defense. I didn't realize. Okay, come back, come back. Yeah, uh, to this person, I would say there's absolutely no reason to not Whoop. try to be friends with both oh. groups. Um, even if, Just like you know, that, guys. Just like that. Yeah, one of my sort of questions about this is uh, she said that she hasn't told her old friends things. So I don't know if that's like I do you have that secrets too. or things uh, yeah, going yeah, on yeah, in your what, life. What is happening no, that you're not telling people? Or um, is it like your new crush? No, whatever it is, no, like, I know exactly. It's probably stuff like that. I remember feeling that exact same thing. Uh, like, I remember one day I, I was riding the bus and like... Someone had told me that, uh, like, who I would have considered an, an old friend of mine, like, had a crush on some girl, and I was like, like, the day before, I had, like, asked him if he, like, oh, who do you have a crush on right now? And, like, he just said nobody, and I was like, okay. And then, like, the next day, I, I like, confronted him about it, and he was just like, I, I don't know why I didn't tell you, but it was like, I don't, you know, it was like a weird thing. <laughs> That's weird, why did, why did yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, like, I, like, I thought you, we were like, yeah, I, I thought, exactly, but it's like, yeah, maybe, could and go, it's okay, go. you yeah. just, yeah. it's okay to grow apart, but that doesn't mean you're not friends. Yep. Oops, um, I, so if yeah, if you have other people, they were just have more in common. It turns out. Uh, that is totally fine. That is totally fine. Uh oh, that looks good. So close. I had a silent freak out uh, on my goal previously. I didn't want to interrupt Jonathan's story because yes, I thought it was, it was very important. Yes, it was really funny. It was very good. I was right there. What was your there. silent freak out? <clears throat> uh, ben and I were celebrating. It we was were nice. just we were just going crazy because yeah. like we scored and we had a very there quiet was fist pumping going on. It was nice. <laughs> you, actually, if you go back and listen, you can probably hear a very subtle high five. <laughs> probably very subtle. <laughs> oh no! All right. No 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 as it always does. Oh my god. Oh, scarab flames. Yay. Flames for scarab, I think is what that means. Guys, I'm really glad that the game hasn't frozen yet. I know, oh, me that's too. really know. good. Yep. That's yep. really good news. That's really good news. I would just there. like to say that I'm pretty sure Derek just jinxed it. Okay, I'm pretty mm. sure. So if it does, hey, it we're, will we are like above it. 500. Are, that is the really important part of what just happened here. And we are against, oh, Victor, Victor Crumb. Crumb. And oh, the Seagulls. Who looked like they've just lost the game because they were at the front of the standings, I want to say, before that last game. Maybe so, they were against the Rovers. I think they must have yeah, been. Yeah. But now I, they're about to go on a two game losing skid heading yes, out of the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> you can't drive boats on land, Victor. I'm afraid not. <laughs> such, <laughs> such a classic can't mistake. Can't drive boats on land. <laughs> such a classic mistake. Unless it's heroin. <laughs> 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 In which case, the, the boats do appear to be going quite well on oh. that. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Here we go. I'm, I'm just now very curious if it will apply to every everything this I episode. know, we're going to have to try. Like, really unless you're telling somebody to not do something. If someone's like, hey, should I quit smoking? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. You can't say it unless it's heroin. <laughs> right. Still quit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we have a question from... Whoop. Danny O, who I believe is Danny the Puckwudgie from the Discord. Oh, nice. oh, hey, I'm starting up? to recognize people's pictures on their um, <coughs> yeah. on their YouTube profiles. It's funny. Um, so she says, "Hey brothers, DK and Jordan, I have a friend that always asks for my advice, but never takes it. Oh man, oh, I want boy, to just I understand. stop giving him advice, but at the same time, I don't want to be unsupportive. What do I do? You know, okay, here's the answer: not everyone is constantly looking for advice all of the time. It might be the case that they're just talking to you and your response is to give them advice, but that might not be what they're actually looking for. Jonathan, that that's is spectacularly wise. Board. What? Yeah. That's, that's, this is spectacularly wise comment from you. Yeah. But it, well, it, I, I, yeah, it, it happens sometimes. Uh, 
where you, some people, I, it sounds like you might be the kind of person who cannot help but try and help other people. Mm -hmm. Like your default is let me help. Oh, you you said I overheard your conversation. I am helping. Oh. Um, and it's like that. They might just be talking. You know, they might not. They might just be telling you about their situation. It's not like I don't need help with it. I'm just telling you about it. Yep. Um, and you. that it, it's I mean, hard to recognize, it. and it's also hard to diagnose because it's hard to like bring up with someone because it's like. Oh. I'm, I'm just trying to help, um, <clears throat> but at the same time, it's not always what they're looking for. So, I, I, ask yourself that: Are they asking for your advice, or are you just giving it to them? That's that's definitely good advice. Uh, and the other thing that I think um, is like really critical about advice no! is that, I, I, of course, it's what we do here on this channel. So this is going <laughs> to sound super hypocritical. Uh, but I'm going to say that you guys are asking us for our advice. But the best <laughs> advice is just my show, man. <laughs> the best advice is to never actually like give your opinion about what oh. they oh, should no. do. Um, I think frequently the idea is to try to help them to uncover what it is they truly want uh, to do. That's right. Um, so like a lot of times, advice means asking them questions. It's like, well, would you be happier without this person in your life? Or what would your life look like without that person? Yep. That's true, um, yeah. Maybe don't don't like tell them what to do, just try and help them figure out uh -oh, what they good. want. Nobody's on to D. Do. Well Oh, oh hey! Hey! nice! I, ba -ba -ba -ba. I thought that was absolutely that was going really in. Good From solid defense. Downtown. Uh oh. I got it. Okay. Yeah, a, a lot of times when I'm talking out a situation, and this happens for me especially with my mom and my sister, um, where I will not necessarily want to know what they think so much as I want to hear what I think in someone <laughs> else's voice, which is a really terrible way to seek advice. Um, but it's basically just confirmation that, oh, you know, this is a, a reasonable reason to be upset, or I'm being ridiculous and I need someone to tell me that I'm being ridiculous. I do that for you all the time. I know. Literally all of the time. Literally yesterday. <laughs> Literally, like, am I being ridiculous? Yes. All right, good. Yep. Well, yep. Got to get help. <laughs> um, what, what is the word, um, where people, it's like the idea that people are validating. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, validation I think is like one of the biggest things where like a lot of times people just need to know like, yeah, exa exactly what you guys are talking Ooh. about. Where it's like, am I just, I just being crazy? I just pelted Ben into oblivion and I'm sorry. <laughs> I, yeah, I was like, I don't know I am, how you, uh, you, you took uh, off quite as far as you did. I am now in the air. But you took off. Oh, let it happen. Oh, let it happen, let it happen, let it happen! Oh, look at that, yes! I'll count that as an assist. <laughs> he gave it to me. Boink. Yeah, I mean, you were the last person to touch it, so look, yeah. look at this. Swabby, what are Swabby, you doing? Swabby. <laughs> He's like, I want to hit it with my butt. <laughs> so it actually reminded me of early Ben play right there. Like, <laughs> reverse, reverse! Yusho. What's yusho? Woosh! Alright, I think we can probably jump to another question. We've got enough time. Cool. Let's um, do, it. do it. This one is from uh, Adavi, and he says, wow. Hey, J. Ben, DK, and Jordan. Help, I'm taking a summer course at high school for Algebra 2, in which there are two semesters. The oh! first semester teacher was good, but for the second se semester teacher, we have a really bad teacher. Uh, she doesn't know English quite as well, and she's great at math, but terrible at teaching it. My classmates mm. and I were thinking of reporting her, but this could be a huge game changer no! in her career path. Have we had this question before? Have I, we? I don't think so. This reminds We've me We've had of... a question like this before, where someone had a teacher that they wanted to report, and it might change their career path. Interesting. I, uh, I do not remember it specifically. Um, I do remember, like, I feel like I've, I've answered this question in some capacity before because I had a teacher named Miss Joshi for mm -hmm. chemistry, and she was exactly like this, where she was obviously incredibly smart, um, but no, she just no. had such little control of the class and the language barrier was, like, a, a significant problem. Right. Um, and we are all... Everyone was just like, don't let them <laughs> we, score! We're gonna find a rhythm here eventually. It'll, it'll happen. It'll where, happen. Like, we, where two people don't end up in the same spot. Yeah. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream. Ben work. and I, like, hit the same angle inside the goal, and it was just, like, we got it. Mm -hmm. We're covered. Um, but this was the teacher that I once uh, presented my science project to uh, for several days in a row. <laughs> oh, just yes. to eat okay. up as much time as humanly possible, yeah. which now I'm looking back feel so bad about. But <laughs> at the time, I was Hilarious! like, I was oh, like, no, no, no! no! Uh, when did they? Ah, uh, when? 
again, I was like, I was positive I was about to score a goal, right? Mm-hmm. There, oh, I, man, Jay, the ball was in the way of them. Sometimes these moments happen with you, and it, I would say it is it is nearing on adorable when your brain wants to say so many things at the same time. <laughs> and you're like, and it can't. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. happens. Just trying to think how I could give you a really simple answer for that. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> well, so if we have asked this question before, I'm sorry, although I'm pretty sure that I pulled this question from no, no, a I video think... within the last week. Oh, no, there it is! is the Man, I was just going back and forth, like, <laughs> making sure that we had yes, space here. look at this, you guys. Boom! So pretty. I love it. Uh, okay. I'm just like, you can't get through here! <laughs> I'm taking the bullet! Um, okay, I, w I would say um, you reporting a teacher is not likely to uh, yield a actual change in her career path. I think te all of the time students are going to be complaining about teachers. If an entire class went and approached the principal and said, hey, it doesn't seem like we're getting like everything we need out of this. Um, I mean, that is great uh and i'm sure that even the like administrators would like appreciate the input but i would be surprised if there was a significant amount of weight that would come with that report mm -hmm. does that make sense or would you guys well, agree? i agree i mean yeah they're gonna be more on their staff's side of things like right yeah. like i i have had it before with the aquarium company where i i am very proud of my aquarium <clears> staff and if I have a client that comes to me and says something uh, kind of negative on them, my instinct is actually to side with my staff because I, I do genuinely believe that they always have, like, best interest at heart. Right. Yeah. And um, also, though, if, if there is a genuine problem, might put this teacher more on the radar of the administrators and be like, okay, it you know, we've had this issue. If it's a recurring issue, then the administration should know. So I almost think that they should say something I, that yes. way if it if it keeps happening. I, I think if it's so bad that you feel like it's worth mentioning, uh, then it would be fine to do it, and I would not necessarily be so concerned. As sweet as it is to be concerned about their uh, career trajectory. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I wouldn't even report it as if it's like a problem with the teacher, just re uh, as a, a student. Make it a, a function of your education. Yeah. There you go. Yep. There you go. I agree. That's the two zero on the day. Thing. Anyway, yeah, for the first guys. time in like three weeks. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh! Look it at is, this. Look at our, our look at those season. non consecutive blue dots in a row. Oh, oh boy. Oh, it hurts. Okay. Anyway, uh, apparently I don't say this enthusiastically enough. But guys, thanks so much for liking and commenting and subscribing on the channel. It's so great to read all of your comments and questions and answer them. Oh my gosh, it brightens my day every day. So. It warms my soul warms, and my slippers. Warms, it's like what? eating. <laughs> Your comments are like a hot bowl of chicken noodle soup. Yes. Uh. Oh my gosh, now we're on to something. <laughs> the re oh man, the reason I called you out on it is so easy for YouTubers to like, to slowly get to the point where it's like, guys, thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Oh, yeah, and like, going on you, you start, yeah, you start saying it in such a monotone way that it doesn't, Invite no, that type invite. of commentary, but mm. a warm bowl of chicken noodle soup in the morning. By the of way, how was of your an cold Arizona pizza? desert? I ate it. I ate it. <laughs> you, did, did you have cold pizza? No, I ate the whole pizza. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is uh, sorry, the cold pizza joke is from our bonus Saturday Patreon. Upload. Uh, if you're interested in seeing those, you can check our Patreon page out at patreon.com slash supergarlandgaming. We will see you next time. Bye!